Welcome to Kids Yoga, and we're going to start with our yoga friend. This is my love bear. It says love. And if you have a yoga friend at home, go ahead and get one out. I see um, you have yours up, but you can just get any stuffed animal at home. Hi. Oh, I see you have one. Good. Okay. So we're going to start out with some <laughs> Some of you are waving your stuffed animal paw or tail or a hoof. We're going to use our yoga friend today to help us with our yoga poses. Let's first start out by taking your yoga friend at home and giving your yoga friend a hug. Good. So that's our first thing we do. We give lots of love to ourselves. We're going to talk about breath. So this is our hugging breath. And when we use our breath, it's a good time to listen to our breath and take some calm, full breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. Keep us calm. Let's do our hugging breath. Take your arms out, holding your yoga friend. Inhale and exhale, hug. Good. Let's do that again. Inhale, take your yoga friend out like this. And exhale, hug. Good. Okay. Let's put our yoga friend down and let's do our next one. This is our shoulder breath. So you're still going to inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. Take your shoulders, roll them back. Inhale, roll them back. And then as you exhale, roll forward. Inhale, roll up and back. And exhale, roll forward. That feels good. Go ahead and shake out your shoulders. Good. Now we're going to roll our shoulders and our arms. Ready? Go ahead. Inhale, roll forward. And exhale, roll back. Good. Take our circles. Inhale. Nice. And exhale. Good. Now let's use our whole body. Okay, so I'm going to stand back so you can see me. You can stand back if you like. You don't have to. Take your legs wide, standing up. Okay, arms are out. Ready? Here we go. Let's go ahead and start with our exhale. So exhale, roll up and forward and down. And then inhale, shoulder rolls up. And then reach back. Ooh, good. And then exhale, roll the shoulders and arms and go all the way down. Inhale, roll the shoulders, and go back. One more time, exhale, big shoulder roll. And inhale, oh, that feels good, okay? Shake out your shoulders, really good. Next breath we can do, we can go ahead and go into our hugging breath without your yoga friend. So let's say you're somewhere and you just really need a hug and you don't have your yoga friend with you, you can do this anywhere. Just take your arms diagonal, inhale and exhale, hug. Wrap your arms around yourself, good. And then take your arms the other way, diagonal, inhale and exhale, hug, good. Another breath I like to do that you can do anywhere is your love breath. So take your hands in a heart. Bring it close to your heart. Inhale. And as you exhale, send your love out. Good. Inhale, close to your heart. Exhale, send your love out. Good. So that way you can send your love out to people you're thinking about. Nice. Let's go ahead and move on. And we're gonna start with our book today. So this is one of my favorite books. This is Babar's Yoga for Elephants. I love Babar. Okay, so yoga. Yoga has been around for a long time. We really don't know when yoga started but we can tell that it's been here a long time because back in the day, 
Before they had paper and computers and telephones, people used to draw. They drew on the walls and caves and pictures of people doing yoga or elephants doing yoga. Then, back long time ago when there were dinosaurs, elephants were doing yoga. They believe yoga came from India and here they are learning yoga. It is still practiced in many places. We're going to start with a sun salutation. And this is something you can do anytime you want to bring sunshine in your heart and your body. So this is the sun salutation. Wow. And we're going to go through that just like Babar the elephant. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. Let's go ahead and pick up our yoga friend. So get your yoga friend at home. Good. We're going to start by holding your yoga friend in your hands. And then just standing up and reaching up over your head with your yoga friend. You can see I have my yoga friend up here. Inhale. And then as you exhale, lower down, bring your yoga friend to the floor. Let's do that again. Inhale, yoga friend over your head. You can reach back if you like. And then exhale, lower down, put your yoga friend on the floor. Good. One more time. Inhale, reach up out of back bend if you like. Good. Exhale, yoga friend on the floor. Good. When you put your yoga friend on the floor, just have your friend turn around so your friend can see you and sit on the floor. So right here, there's your yoga friend. We're going to come down, take one leg back, and then pick up your yoga friend and take your yoga friend over. Inhale. Good. This is our horse pose. Nice. And then come down. Then we go into our dog pose. You can take your yoga friend under you and go into a dog pose, upside down V. And then wag your doggy tail and look at your yoga friend. Hello. Good. You can even kick your doggy legs. Close your flower. Bring 
finger by finger back to a flower bud at your heart. Good. We can move our whole body if you like. So I'm gonna stand back, you can join me if you like. We're just gonna squat down and take your flower at your heart. Good, ready to grow. Inhale, open the petals, come up. Good, and then take your flower down, exhale, back at your heart. Good, one more, inhale, open the petals. Beautiful flower, come up. And exhale, flower closes, good. Let's take our legs wide and take a bigger stretch, okay? Ready? Let's go ahead and squat, come down, and inhale, open the pedals. Good, reach back if you like, that feels good. And then exhale, squat down, close your flower. Good. One more, inhale, bloom, pretty flower petals. And exhale. Ah, that's nice. Another breath we can do is our heart breath. Take your hands over your heart like this. Good. So this is lots of love you bring to yourself. So inhale, open up. And then exhale, bring that love on top of your heart. Nice. Inhale, open up. Think about those that love you. And exhale, bring that love to your heart. Ah, nice. Okay, let's move on. And let's find out what else Babar Yoga is doing. You guys ready? Okay. Again, this is one of my favorite books. So we did the sun salutation. Now, this is another way to do the sun salutation. Some people call this the earth salutation because you're on the floor. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at all that. So, we're gonna do this together. Let's first start sitting down and pick up our yoga friend, okay? Oops, let me fix my shirt. I love bear, it says love. Okay, ready? Okay, so you can grab your yoga friend if you like. We're gonna sit down and then go into a pose. Let's take our legs forward. Put your yoga friend over your head. Inhale. Good. Exhale, reach forward to your feet. Good. Inhale, lift up. And do that again. And exhale, come forward. You can make your yoga friend dance here if you like. Good. Next one, take your yoga friend down, reach your hands behind you, bend your knees and push your belly up and drop your head back. <laughs> Good. And then sit down. Then reach your yoga friend over your head. And then reach your yoga friend to your feet. Make your yoga friend down. Good. Let's do that again. Put your yoga friend down. Ready? Hands go back. Lift your hips up. And sit back down. Good. Take up your yoga friend. And bring your yoga friend to your feet. And yoga friend dances. Good. Okay. Next, we go into the bow pose. So if you want, you can take your yoga friend put your yoga friend between your legs. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Ready? So this is boat pose. We're going to come up with our legs. And you can reach your hands back for balance here. Good. If you want, you can move your yoga friend side to side. This is a rocking boat. If you want, you can roll forward and back and make your boat rock. <laughs> and move your yoga friend too. I like this one. I could do this one all day. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next one we're going to go into is our 
plank pose. So, you can keep your yoga friend between your legs if you like, you don't have to. Then your hands come down and you lift up. And this is like a bridge, a diagonal bridge. Good. And then drop your bottom down, lift your legs up and rock forward and back again. <laughs> Good. Okay. Now, remember this one is the earth salutation. So we're gonna start. Ready to start? Do you know the poses? Are you ready? Here we go. Ready, sitting in this pose, lift your yoga friend up over your head. Hello. And go forward to your feet. Make your yoga friend dance. Good. Put your yoga friend down. Hands go behind your back and lift your hips up. Good. Drop your bottom down. Put your yoga friend between your ankles or legs. So I'm doing that. And then lift up your legs and rock forward and back. Good. <laughs> that is fun. Okay, that's one of my favorite parts. Then we go into that diagonal. Ooh, this is our bridge pose. All right, slope. Can you do that? Good. And then lower down. Reach your friend up. Let's do that again. Ready? Lift up your friend and go towards your feet. Yoga friend dances. Good. Put your yoga friend down. Hands go down. Lift your hips up. Bend your knees. Lift your hips really high. Drop your head back. Good. Lower down. Put your yoga friend between your legs. Come into your boat pose. And then we rock. <laughs> and this is the fun part. Good, you guys are good at this. Then we take our hands down and go into that slope, that bridge in the slope. Good. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Okay, lift your yoga friend up. And yoga friend comes forward and dances. Good. Put your yoga friend down. Hands down. Lift your hips up. Do your bridge pose. You got it. Nice. Coming down on your bottom. Yoga friend between your ankles. Coming to your boat pose with your legs up. Good, and then we rock. You got it. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, that is fun. Then you can go into that bridge that's diagonal on a slope, lifting up your upper part of your body, dropping your head back. Good. And then sit down. I like that one a lot. That one is really fun, I think, because you get to roll around. Okay, good job guys. Let's go and put our yoga friend down and we're gonna go on to another way of breathing. This is our puppy and kitty breath, okay? So, if you like puppies, do this. If you like kitties, do this. Good, so I like both, so I did both. <laughs> Let's start with our kitty breath. This is really fun. So let's go ahead, show me your kitty ears. <laughs> or if you like both, do this. <laughs> if, show me your kitty ears. And we're gonna go ahead and go down with our ears and make your kitty cat disappear. <laughs> and then come up and lift your kitty cat ears. Now can you breathe with this? Ready, here we go. Inhale and exhale. <laughs> Inhale, come up, lift your ears. Hello. Are you breathing? And exhale, lower your kitty ears. Goodbye. Good. Inhale, lift up your ears. Hello. Good. 
Can you go di diagonal? Ready? And exhale. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> Let's try the other way, diagonal. Here we go. And exhale. Ready? Inhale. <laughs> Careful, don't roll over. <laughs> okay, so that is our kitty ear breath. You did that. Let's do our puppy paw breath. So, we're gonna go ahead and start inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. One more inhale and exhale. Very cool. Okay, let's move on to our next yoga pose that we can do with Babar. So this is our triangle pose. And these, this is called your rotated triangle. So you start in star pose and you twist to each side. <laughs> You guys ready? Okay, so let's go ahead and you can take your yoga friend with you if you like, but you don't have to. Are you ready? Rotated triangle. Hey, let's go ahead and stand up and take your yoga friend in one hand. This is star pose. Reach really wide with your feet and arms. Good. And then you rotate to one side and reach that arm up. If you can touch your leg, go for it. If you can touch your foot, go for it too. It doesn't matter. Ready? Rotate. Good. Coming up. And then put your yoga friend on the other hand. And then twist. Triangle twisting. Good. I'm gonna stand back so I can you can see what I'm doing and I can see what you're doing. Let's do this a couple more times. Ready? Here we go in our star pose. Oh, yoga friend on either side. Ready and twist. Good, coming up. Other side. Yoga friend here. Ready and twist. Good. You know what we can do? We can do a jump in between each twisting with our yoga friend, okay? You wanna try that? Here we go, ready? Yoga friend in one hand, in our star pose, let's twist. Come up, good. Come down, and jump up, good. Let's try the other side, ready? And twist. Good. Ready to jump? Come down. Jump up. Good. Let's do one more on each side. That is fun. Here we go. And twist. Good. I like that. You want to jump? <laughs> Good. Okay. Other side. twisting. That going up and down reminds me of the elevator breath. So we use our breath anytime we want to to find calmness. We can pick up your yoga friend and put your yoga friend in front of your belly button right here. Good. Just like an elevator, here we go. Inhale, elevator goes up down. Nice. Now we can do that by putting also your yoga friend on your head. Want to do that? Hello. Good. And then we're going to use our elevator breath. You ready? Let's go down. Exhale. <laughs> and inhale. Elevator going up. Good. 
Let's do that again. Ready? Exhale. And inhale. Where'd you go? There you are. Good. Okay, that was fun. Let's go ahead and move on and see what else we can do. So this one here is your proud warrior. And this is Babar doing the proud warrior sequence. So he's starting at star pose and then reaching and then coming back up. You ready to try that? Okay, ready? Okay, so you could have your yoga friend if you like. Take your yoga friends in your hand, yoga friend in your hands. We're starting with one leg bent. Take a leg bent, and you reach forward with your friend and lift up and back. Good. Start that again. Reach forward and lift up. Let's try the other side. Then the other leg. Ready, warrior. Reach forward and lift up. Good. One more. Reach forward and lift up. Good. So a warrior pose means you're really, really strong. So let's go ahead and do another pose that is going to be build us some strength. This will build us strength in our back. So this pose is where we lay on the floor again. And then you lift your arms and legs. And then you switch, holding your arms and legs behind your back. And that brings strength to your back. Are you ready? Okay. You can take your yoga friend if you like and put your yoga friend in front of you, right here. Ready? Feel some strength in your back. Lay down, reach up your arms and legs. And then from side to side like you're a superman, you're flying. And then reach back for one leg with your hand. And fly. Good. Try the other side. Can you switch? Reach for that other side and fly. Good. Pick up your yoga friend. Come back and rest in child pose. Bend your knees. Good. That will build some strength for your back. You can feel that. Okay. Another one we can do. This one is going to build strength in your stomach. So this is your pose, your boat pose. You lay on the ground and then you lift your legs up and then you lay back down. Are you ready? You wanna, we can put our yoga friend between our legs if you want. Ready for a boat pose? Okay. Go ahead, lay down. And then, ready, come up. Lift your legs and your arms. And come back down. Ready? Let's feel some strength in our belly. And come up. <laughs> Now let's play a game. You can reach forward for your yoga friend and then put your friend in your hands and reach back. And then come up and move your yoga friend from your hands to your feet. And then come back. Let's do that again. <laughs> Do it one more time, guys. Good. <laughs> Let's pick up our yoga friend and rock side to side. Okay. Let's come up. That was really fun. 
So, from there, as we were going forward and back, we can do our rainbow breath. So our rainbow breath, we can take our arms up, take your legs wide, and just go to the side. And then reach up and go to the other side. Good. So you can inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. So with our rainbow breath, we can add the sun and the rain. You ready? So we're going to make sunshine arms. Start with our legs out wide. Here's the sun. Inhale. Good. And then here comes the rain coming down. So you want to make rain fingers like this and come all the way down. Ready? Here's the sun. And then rain fingers come down. Stretch. And then rain side to side. Raining everywhere. Good. And after rain comes the rainbow. Oh, I like that one. Good, ready? Here we go, catch the sun. And after the sun comes the rain. Single forward and then rain all around. Good. And after the rain comes the rainbow. Let's do that again and make sure you're breathing with this. So if you want to add your huge breath, you can start with your Good. Inhale and then exhale. Rain. And stay here. Take some calm breaths. Good. And then add your rainbow. And if you want, you can breathe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Okay. Which did you like? What was your favorite? The rain, the sun, or the rainbow, or all of it? All of it? <laughs> okay, next we're gonna move on. Ooh, this one is for flexibility, to keep you really flexible. Oh my goodness, I can't do all these poses, but maybe you can. And if you don't feel comfortable, you don't have to, okay? Are you ready? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we start on our back with our knees towards our chest. We bring our legs up. And then we roll our feet over our head and then roll back. So this is called plow pose, okay? Are you ready? If you want, you can put your yoga friend between your ankles. Now try this, let's try this, okay? And if you can't do all of it, just have fun. Be careful and do what you feel is comfortable for you. So, you can take your yoga friend if you like. Put your yoga friend between your ankles. Roll back, lift up. You can support your body with your hands. And then roll back, this is called plow pose. <laughs> How you doing? And then roll back up and roll forward. Let's try that again. <laughs> this is the funny part. You are very flexible. This keeps you very flexible. Try that one more time. Good. That's a lot of movement. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's see what Babar the elephant does next. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is a headstand. Remember in yoga, everything is okay. So if you cannot do a pose, do the best you can, yeah, yeah. So this is our headstand. You start out on your knees, roll forward, 
Do a headstand if you can, and then roll back. That's a lot. So let's try that. And now I cannot do all of it, but I'm gonna try. You can take your yoga friend to sit in front of you if you like, okay? So we start out on our knees. Roll forward. Go into your headstand. And then we roll back and come up. I cannot do a headstand, so I'm just gonna roll forward. And lift your arms up and roll forward. And then roll back. So if you can't do a headstand, that's okay. You can still move like this. Hey, good job, guys. I see you. Be careful. Good, good. you can. So that brings us to our okay breath. Uh-huh. So everything is okay. You don't have to do all the poses. Just do the best you can. Let's start and take our hands in an okay position. And this is our okay breath. Everything is okay. So we're going to come out. Oh. And bring your hands together. Okay. Inhale, O. Oh. Exhale, K. Are you breathing? Good. Inhale, O. Oh. Exhale, K. Everything is okay. Good. I like that. That's calming. Okay. Let's see what else Babar elephant does. This is called crow pose. This pose, you start and you can put your head down if you like, or you can balance on your arms if you like. Good! Wow, guys, you guys are good at that. I'm not very good at this, so I'm going to do the best I can, and that's okay. Have your yoga friend. And we can bend our knees and our elbows. <laughs> How are you doing, guys? You want to try that again? <laughs> Good. Okay. So that makes me think about us being silly. So we're going to go ahead and do our rock and rest breath. So rock and rest, it's out the sillies. So you can pick up your yoga friend if you like, and let's just go ahead and roll around on the ground. So lay on your back, put your yoga friend close to you, and roll around. So it's rock and rest. Do. So, as 
we continue reading our book, we're having fun with yoga. It talks about where can you do yoga? Where? Anywhere. Here is Babar and his friends doing yoga in the park. Can you see Babar doing tree pose there? Let's do tree pose. So in tree pose, I'm gonna pick up my I Love Nature bear. I Love Nature, and he's always in tree pose. Let's join our nature bear in tree pose. And we're gonna do our everything changes breath, where you jump and turn around and come back. You can even switch legs. So we're gonna inhale and then exhale, turn around. Are you ready? Make sure you breathe, okay? So, arms out, one leg bent in your tree pose. Good. Inhale, turn around, switch legs, and exhale. Here we go. Inhale and exhale. <laughs> turn around, ready? Inhale. Did you switch legs? Oh my gosh. And turn around, switch legs, exhale. And inhale. <laughs> and exhale. And inhale. I see you. Don't bother. And exhale. Good. Good job, guys. Okay. That was cool. Let's see where else you can do yoga. You can do yoga. When you're traveling, here is an elephant doing yoga on the subway. Good. And the elephant hoofs are in prayer. Here is, here are some elephants doing yoga at the mall. This is airplane pose. Let's try that. You want to try that? So, in airplane pose, we are in a straight line. So, this is my alignment bear. And our alignment bear, we're gonna make my bear go in a straight line. So the arms are in a straight line here with the leg down. This is still in alignment because you have a straight line. Are you ready? Let's try that. And come into airplane pose. Make sure your arms are straight, your leg is straight. Good. <laughs> Let's try the other side. Can you switch legs and fly? Good. Let's go ahead and do a breath with that, okay? Okay. So we can go ahead and do our feet breath. What is feet breath? Feet breath is where you circle, yeah, you circle your ankle. So you your foot, <laughs> and you inhale through your nose, circle your foot, and exhale, circle the other way. Make sure you breathe. Are you ready? Okay, I see your feet. Ready? Let's come into our airplane pose. Ready? I'm gonna come closer so you can see my foot. Inhale, circle, and exhale, circle. Good. Let's try the other side. Are you ready? Take that leg out, guys. Here we go. Inhale, circle your ankle, and exhale, circle your ankle. Oh my gosh, good balance. Let's do our hands too. Let's just come close to the screen. This will be good. Inhale. Ah, and exhale, nice, inhale, and exhale, good. What else can we circle? We can circle our head, ready? Inhale, and exhale, good. Inhale, and exhale. What else can we circle? We can circle our hips. Ready to stand up? Here we go. Inhale. <laughs> and exhale. Good. Inhale. 
<laughs> and exhale. We can circle our knees. Put your legs together and bend your knees and we circle our knees around. Can you do that? You can put your hands on your knees if you like. Here we go. Inhale. Good. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. That is fun. Okay. So now we have our fun breath. Yeah, we can circle our arms. Let's do our arms. Here we go. Inhale. And exhale. And exhale. Good. Let's see what else, where else can you do yoga? So, here is, oh my gosh, here is Babar and his friend doing yoga while waiting to catch an airplane at the airport. This is plow pose. That was funny. Okay. You can also do yoga when you're at the city. You can also do yoga when people around you are busy riding bikes. You could be at the park, under a tree. You can do yoga on top of a roof of a building. Wow. You can do yoga in Paris at the Eiffel Tower. You can do yoga at the Monument in Washington. You can do yoga at the pyramids. You can do yoga anywhere. They're doing a nice alignment pose here. You can do yoga at the mountain. You can do yoga in San Francisco. You can do yoga at the desert. Let's do this pose. Let's lay on our back. I think that's a good idea. I think everyone wants to do that now. <laughs> okay. Let's be as flat as the desert. And we're going to move on. This is my breathe bear. But take your yoga friend at home and put your yoga friend on your belly and let's breathe and lay down as flat as the desert. You ready? Ah, so you can hold your yoga friend up on your belly with your hand. Inhale and breathe, pushing your belly out. And exhale, let your belly lower down. And then your, your yoga friend should move too. Ready? Inhale. And exhale. Want to close our eyes? You can bend your knees if you like to. Can you feel your yoga friend going up and down as your belly goes up and down as you breathe? Can you take a bigger inhale and make your belly go bigger? And higher, making your yoga friend go up more. Good. Let's go ahead and come up. And take your yoga friend on your lap. Good. Let's go ahead and take our hands in prayer. This is your prayer breath or your peace breath. So in your peace breath, your hands are in prayer, which means peace. As you inhale, rise your hands over your head. Exhale. 
Now lower your hands to your heart. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And we say Namaste. Namaste. What does that mean? Namaste means the spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Namaste means the spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Thank you.